Hello guys and welcome back to another video. A lot of people have been asking me about what mods do I use, what graphics do I use, what's my hotkeys, etc. I figured it's about time I actually give you guys a video like this. So, just to quickly jump into the mods, I have a lot of mods here. Obviously, a lot of these are from the patches they've been releasing with the specific stuff. stuff. Spring patch, for example, and then there is also some map packs here. You can just ignore those completely, and I will show you guys the ones that I think are important, at least to me, and the ones I would be using for for uh, tournaments, for example. So, first of all, improved small trees. It's pretty much just a mod to help make trees smaller. It's like improved, as it says. Uh, small trees is, an, is a mod everyone needs if you want to be competitive or perform. Because the normal size trees are just too big, they block too much vision and things like that, so small trees is a must. There is another mod called just small trees, so depending on your preference, you can have small trees or improved small trees. Otherwise, no stumps. There's a lot of times where small stumps, there's there's a tree where you can chop and it looks like a stump. Um, so just to make sure I don't get, don't ever like miss read the map and misjudge the situation. No stumps, so make sure there are no stumps, as it says. And I will never go wrong with that. No plants as well. In some maps, plants might look like trees, because there are trees that look similar, just like the no stumps. This just pretty much gets rid of that to make sure that I never mistake a plant for a tree. Very helpful. Um, and I would recommend you guys to do that as well. This one is very good, actually. Fish borders. A lot of times you fish, the, I think the hitbox in DE is a little bit strange for fish. So, and also it's a little bit hard to see sometimes. What this fish borders mod pretty much does is put a grid around the fish, a clear grid. So whenever you're fishing or looking for fish, you will spot the fish immediately as you go and look around on the, on the open seas. So that's highly recommended. Um, you can see on the right as well who the author is. We have Tevius, who's imp made improved small trees. O4PY with the no stumps, Sagam with the no more plants, and uh, yeah, Setnus. Setnus improved grid mod. I know they've made some changes to the grid mod in the game, like that comes with the game, but I still don't know if that's actually good or not. I haven't used it, so I'm not really 100% sure. Um, I have been using the improved grid mod since the game came out, pretty much, and I think that's. That's not going to change. I love the way this one is. It's kind of soft. It's not too intrusive in your game, uh, but still provides exactly what you need, which is the grid. I uh, highly recommend this as well. It helps a lot when it comes to judging distance between things, uh, placing things correctly, making sure you don't have holes, etc. in your wall. So highly recommend the Setnus Improved Grid mod as well. And then this is the last one that I've been using since DE came out. I always struggle to see exactly where the manganals were shooting when DE came out. Um, I'm not sure if they have improved that, or maybe it was just me not being used to the game at first. I'm not sure if I need this, but I still feel like it, it helps a little bit. Um, pretty much just makes the the shots of the Magnol, so the boulders coming a little bit more visible and clear, and it kind of helps you judge where the fire is going, in case you want to split or micro away from the fire. Um, so yeah. Those are pretty much the main mods I have. Of course, there are some mods I use for fun now and then. I use the unique unit emblems as well if you want to have that. If you don't, if you struggle to see the difference between the emblems of the civilizations, you can replace that with unique units. Uh, but obviously, it, that is hard to see as well. So it's pretty much just pref personal preference. Uh, but yeah, those are the main mods. I'm going to quickly jump now and show you my settings as well. We have an interface. Again, I'm probably going to go quite quickly through this because... I mean, each to their own, right? You can play, if you want to copy me completely, that's fine. I don't need to talk about it. It's just up to you, right? You can, like this tooltip position, it pretty much makes sure the text in the bottom right shows up. I still have it because there's still some things I need to see. If I want to check some, like, I don't remember the cost of every single upgrade in the game, every single unit by heart or by, by my head, if whatever you call it. So sometimes I need to be able to see that. Uh, that's why I have it on. I think ideally I remember everything and don't have anything pop up anywhere, but I put it to the smallest scale possible, so I think it's fine. And the HUD scale, I have it a little bit zoomed, I guess. Like I have a little bit bigger of a HUD scale. Uh, I think 
preferably people might want it in the lower end, but I feel more comfortable with having it slightly bigger, so um, that's all good for me. On the other hand here, here are the graphics. I tend to go towards the lower end of most graphics and just try to make it simple, clear, and not too flashy, right? Um, so yeah, as you can see, most is deactivated. It's pretty on the low ends when it comes to graphics. The only thing I have activated is sharpen 30%, just to have units a little bit sharper. And I have blood on as well, which is probably more just for the stream. The zoom is 56%. I don't want to zoom too far out because I feel like if you're too far out zoomed out, it's harder to select units, it's harder to micro, harder to, harder to be more precise. And at the same time, you don't want to be too far zoomed in because then you simply don't see enough and don't get the field of, like, field of view where you can macro accordingly or spot enemy units, etc. So I feel like 56% is like a nice middle ground. Although we have double music playing right now. Apologies for that. Um, so yeah. Again, you can pause the video at any time. Toim, toim, sure, uh, anytime just to get a full view if you want to copy completely. Audio, nothing much. Usually I have music completely off if I'm playing a tournament game or on voice with someone, but something ar around these lines is what I'm going for. Don't have any narrator activated. So in the game, I have the default aggressive stance. Object highlights is completely off. I don't like that. I also don't have default health bars, which shows uh, on hover, on damage, owned and allied units and also when enemies are taking damage. I don't like always on, I feel like it intrudes too much on my screen and there's too many health bars all over the over the floor. And classic is, it's just always been, like it only appears on the units you select, which I think is fine, but I also want to see when units are injured, so I'm going for default there. Also this one, I really dislike this, I also feel like this is just too intrusive on my screen. I don't need to see the HP, like the resource how many resources are left and whatnot for the resources. I think I'm fine with that, but I do acknowledge that this can be helpful for or maybe lower level players, etc. etc. So yeah. Otherwise, this is what I'm using. Uh, scroll speed was there because I was casting last time I played. That was caster scroll speed. I have the scroll speed on max. I hope they push this even further. Still feel like I could have it slightly higher, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hotkeys. Now I need to specify, I don't think you should use my hotkeys. My hotkeys have been forged and crafted from the depths of my, my basement. Um, I pretty much took the original hotkeys that my, my dad used the original hotkeys. He adapted them to himself, changed some, some parts here and there. I took his hotkeys and from that point I have been adapting them to my own hotkeys again. I'm gonna go quickly through this. I, again, I don't think you should use my hotkeys. I don't think they're great. Um, yeah, just don't, <laughs> just don't. I think it's better if you start with even definitive default hotkeys and adjust from there. The main thing with hotkeys is just try to make the hotkeys as few clicks as possible, as effective as possible, and as clean, really. Like, you shouldn't have to struggle and stretch and or use two hands or do four clicks to accomplish something. Just do whatever works for you. That's the main thing here. For me, my hotkeys work. It's what I've been using for years. I'm so into them that I cannot change anymore, I think, except small adjustments here and there. But I don't think my hotkeys are great for a player looking to pick up the game and just taking the hotkeys of a professional player. I don't think that's a good idea. Play a lot, work on your own hotkeys, and just when you're playing, you can realize yourself as well what's taking a lot of time to click. That's how I made small adjustments to my dad's hotkeys because I was like, Control V to go to castle. It's not effective. I want that to be one click. I don't want to hold control and click something else. So I switched that to E. So now I just click E and I go to the castle. So things like that, you just realize yourself as well that uh, you can improve those things, right? Uh, my hotkeys are there. I'm gonna cycle through. You probably want to pause the video at any point if you want to have a look at the hotkeys. Um, I'll see if I can include a download link to this as well in the in the description. I'm not sure if I want to upload them. We'll see. Just look in the description. You will know. If not, I'm going to go quickly through here again. These are created from the original hotkeys of Age of Empires to the Conquerors and adjusted accordingly. 
Um, it's... I... Not sure if it's, it's German? Yeah, or Norwegian? It's not, like, this shouldn't... I don't, I don't use these hotkeys at all. I don't use these hotkeys. I don't use the select all hotkeys anyway. So I don't have anything for them. But these are, is what I use. Um, go to Archer Range W, Barracks S, Blacksmith is Control S, that's fine for me. Castle E, as I told you. Dock, this is the button over tab on the top left of your keyboard, be below Escape. Cray Past, Lumber Camp. Lumber Camps and Mill and Mine Camps are the ones I still have control on. Uh, like two clicks to go to, but I still feel like that's fine. It's too late for me to change anyway. I'm lost, I'm lost cause. Idle villager tab, idle military is comma, uh, space to go to select unit. I don't, if I want to click a control group, I don't do double click on that control group. I click one and then space. For me, that works better. I feel like it's faster, but I know a lot of people double click the, con like the control group instead. Um, H to go to town center, X for stable, Q for seed workshop, and all that stuff. Group commands, nothing's changed really. All normal. Specter, like there's not too much else to see here really. Again, I still highly recommend you to do your own hotkeys. I'm gonna quickly go through military units. Again, if you wanna actually just purely copy, I'll probably leave a download link in the description of the video. Otherwise you can pause the video just to have a look. I'm not sure if it even makes sense to make a video like this, going through my hotkeys like this, but it is what it is. You can copy it all if you want, if not. You're probably better off. But yeah, I don't have hotkeys for the text here. The only thing I have for is for tech H up, which is Q. And that's probably it. I also don't have I don't pretty much don't have any tech hotkeys. Like you can see this, I have I probably should, but I feel like it might interfere with uh, other things I want to do on the keyboard. So I don't think I will ever add hotkeys for these. At least not for the near foreseeable future. Archie range, stable, siege workshop, monastery, market. <laughs> Nothing except trade card. Again, these are these are things I think I could improve on this. I think I could add hotkeys to the tech, for example, maybe to selling resources, but I honestly don't think that's necessary. Um, although it probably would be better. But yeah, there's the mill. Actually, in the mill and mining camp, I have Q for every single like first wood, wood upgrade, farm upgrade, Q, and mining camp gold upgrade is Q. I think that's helpful just to quickly go through them in, as you advance to the next age. Lumber camp, there's the blacksmith, no upgrades there. I think here as well I could improve and actually put health keys, but I think I'm, again, it's going to be really hard for me to adjust and get used to that. University, I don't have anything. Zoom commands don't really matter. Gate commands, just wheel up, wheel down. And lock gate is also Q. So you've seen, I've tried to put a few things on Q that are like things I want to click quickly, like the upgrades in the mining camp, lumber camp, mill, uh, closing and opening gate, etc. So yeah, that's those, oops, no, confirm. Those are my hotkeys and those are my mods and settings. So. If you want to copy me, by all means, be my guest. Do I recommend it? No. I think each to, each to their own. Something that works for me is not going to potentially, like, it doesn't guarantee that it's working for you. Vice, like, same thing as any other hotkeys in the world. They might not be suited for you. You should probably try and work on your own hotkeys. Try to make it as effective, as efficient as possible. And also figure out what, set, what settings work for you. What mods do you need? There's uh, so many good tools out there, so many good settings and mods out there as well that you can work from. And again, hotkeys. Shh, don't take mine. That's my my final pledge to you. I don't recommend you to use my hotkeys. If you want to, by all means, be my guest. But I think it's better that you work on your own. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's long overdue. I promised this a while back. Uh, here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, later today, there's going to be a um, Civ tier list for Arabia. It's also something you're probably going to enjoy, hopefully. Uh, I'll see you all for that one. Goodbye, guys.